everybody and welcome to another super awesome tutorial. Today we're doing a uh, motion tracking tutorial uh, using After Effects and Mocha. Uh, we're going to actually track some titles to uh, a surface or an object that's in motion and uh, have the title follow the object or lock it onto a surface uh, and as the camera moves around the environment the object will or the well, title will be locked to that surface. Um, oh, an example I have here is something I did about a month ago. Uh, as you can see, this title here on the uh, ground is uh, pretty much uh, locked in place. And uh, you know, even if it goes off the screen, it's still going to be uh, still gonna be locked on there. And uh, as you notice, he drives around, peels out, pretty cool. And uh, right as he uh, goes over it, you'll notice I have it turn into smoke. Oh, well, let's see, we've done it here too. Um, you know, we put the uh, tracking data here onto these points where these grass blades are. And uh, those little guys just kind of point to them as they go about. Uh, as you notice, it kind of blurs out a little bit there with some depth of field. That's another kind of cool trick there. Um, this does too a little bit. You'll notice uh, as the camera moves quite drastically, like from here to here, there's uh, some blur going on, some motion blur. And uh, anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up now. We'll get to it. So uh, the clip we're going to be working on today is uh, this one right here. Um, it's basically a friend of mine asked me to. Uh, Show them how to track some titles to someone's, uh, you know, shoulder maybe, or lock it onto a point on their body. So, if you're doing an interview or someone's explaining something and you have their name pop up, the uh, title kind of moves around with them instead of just being, you know, stuck in one spot like traditionally. His uh, shoulder here looks relatively uninterrupted by any kind of obstructions except for right there but that's exactly the point where the title is going to disappear because uh, as soon as his hand goes whoop, right there uh, it's going to cover the title up in the 3D environment that it's going to be in so the way we would get uh, that done is take the clip that you're going to be tracking uh, export as a image sequence JPEG highest quality once you uh, get into Mocha here, you're going to do a uh, new project, and then you're going to choose the folder that has the image sequence that you just rendered. Take the first one, click on it. Uh, you'll notice it starts at frame 0 and goes to 235. That's exactly how many frames are in that sequence. That's cool. If it, it said something different here, it might not be numbered correctly or something maybe went wrong, so you want to make sure that that's correct. Always change the frame rate to whatever you want it to be, you know, you know whatever you're using. Uh, everything else here looks good. Hit OK. So now you'll notice you got your, you know, video loaded up here in Mocha, uh, and it probably looks crazy foreign to you. Uh, not to worry. I'll show you how to use some of the stuff here. So put it at the first frame here. Uh, you know, your little slider here. And uh, come up here to the X spline tool, create an X spline layer tool. Click on that, and then just start drawing on here the area that you are looking to track. So we're looking to track this surface right here, and uh, if you notice, it's uh, you know it's not really doing its thing. Uh, don't worry. What you want to do here is uh, hover over here where it says track forward, and Go ahead and click on that. It doesn't only take a minute, uh, maybe more like 20 minutes on your machine. Mine's pretty fast. This is actually doing it as I'm talking to you. So, see, it's going pretty good. Okay, and then right there, bam. See how his hand is, you know, and look at that. See how it's, we're going to want to stop there. Now it's following his hand. So, we're going to want to go back, basically. I'm undoing just by hitting Control Z here to this point right there. Now you can move this around or uh, you know reposition it if you had to um, but as far as I'm concerned you know I'm not going to 
I'll track a couple more frames. Uh, okay, we're done. And that's pretty much here is right when the title is going to be going away anyway. So uh, I think I'm just going to leave that right there. Uh, I'll just track it out to the very end because I want to show you what happens here once this thing starts to follow. Ooh, crash. So, not good. Anyway, we got the data we needed though before it crashed there. And uh, if you notice now, when you move your slider, it's pretty much tracking that part. See what I'm saying? It's got motion there. It's moving. Um, it's pretty smart. It's cool. Good to go. Okay, so move it back to very, very beginning. Uh, this is kind of crucial here. It's at the very beginning. And then click Align Surface right here. So after you click the uh, Align Surface there, uh, come down here to Export Tracking Data. And use this drop down menu here. And select Corner Pin Only. And copy to clipboard. And then uh, you're going to want to jump over to After Effects. And if you notice, I got this uh, same clip here loaded up, ready to go. What you're going to want to do is create a new layer, solid. And uh, you can make it whatever color you want. Make a black one here, same aspect ratio, everything. And then go Edit, Paste. And uh, basically you can see it's doing something weird here. It's not exactly what we wanted. but um, you can tell something's going on. It's tracking something here. Uh, so what you're going to want to do here is uh, go to layer, precompose, or you know you could right-click on it, I think, and uh, yeah, choose precompose. Um, we'll call it tracking comp uh, two, uh, and then open up tracking comp. Actually, you know what? First things first. Let's do this. Uh, go back to your comp here and copy your video right here copy and then go into your tracking comp and paste there now that's there and uh, this black solid uh, right click on this and choose guide layer because we don't want this to show up in the render and you can then turn that off basically the tracking uh, you know data from Mocha is in here. So now you can take your text tool, type here. This guy, uh, this guy, yeah. You know, resize it if you need to. Uh, basically, um, a 3D layer might make it work better. You can adjust it a little bit better that way in 3D space so it doesn't seem so flat. Uh, reposition, uh, let's do, uh, oh, let's scale it down a little bit. Move it over. Keep jumping back to your comp to see if it's in the proper place. Looks good there. You'll notice it's sort of, sort of doing its thing. But if you notice, like, in this area here, um, it's, it's kind of like diving off. Like I, I would rather have it kind of, you know, whoosh, 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 flatter. So uh, let's adjust some. Uh, oh, I don't know, like some of the rotation on it, maybe. Um, you know, get it rotate it a little bit. Jump back to your comp, and uh, you'll see. Okay, now that's a lot better, actually. Yep. Okay. So just with that little adjustment of 13 degrees, looks like it did a lot for me. Now it's kind of at a weird angle too, it's not quite vertical so to adjust the front and back on it, oh shoot, that's, let's try this, a little bit of that, that could be way too much, oh maybe, no that's perfect, there we go. Uh, okay so there you go, that looks good, uh, you know it's, it's doing its thing. Actually, one thing too is uh, you notice it's like the camera's out of focus, but that's crispy. Um, what's really cool with After Effects, you can blur that at the, to, the, to have the same blur as the camera. So it'll come into focus right about here. Uh, really easy to do. Just 
get the layer that you're uh, wanting to uh, mess with there and go to effect go to blur sharpen my favorite one to use here is camera lens blur boom there you go it kind of just mimics the, the blur that comes out of a camera lens uh, so hence the name so if you click the effect tab here or if you're you know editing your effects up here on the top left of the screen you'll notice that the uh, blur radius is stock setting is 5 you can go up higher lower blur out whole bunch uh, five looked pretty good you know we might go to six or something I don't know maybe seven you can animate that click the stopwatch here move it over so looks like we're focusing from here so that's its blurriest and now we're in a focus. So now when we move the slider, it goes from blurry to not blurry. So if we wanted to just kind of have it, you know, fade out actually from here, that's pretty simple. Opacity, keyframe, move it over to, I don't know, there, and just bring it down to zero. And uh, it just goes away. Uh, there you go. Simple motion tracking. Uh, you could actually have done the same thing to track his name onto the surface here. Um, you could have tracked it to this cup, to any any point on the screen uh, with Mocha. Uh, another thing you can do too is use uh, that same tracking data for oh, like a JPEG or if you had a logo or something that you wanted to uh, put on the wall, you could Put a poster on the wall. You could map uh, something over the logo on his shirt. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff. You could uh, actually, we could with some work here. Oh, buddy, we could put my head on my friend's shirt, and uh, I think we're gonna do that. So you jump to your tracking comp here. Uh, simply drag my head into it, uh, scale it down, maybe it's too big, I don't know, you know, you just might have to mess around with it all day. Oh no, actually don't spend all day putting your face on your friend's clothes, that's a waste of time. God, uh, we got off, the tr off track here though, but my f not my face is on my friend's clothing, it's not what the tutorial was supposed to be about, alright, there you go. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any special requests on tutorials, uh, I'll do my best to knock them out. Uh, have a good day.